Courtney Pohlmeyer, and I am a finalist on the Season 7 Next Food Network Star, and I'm here today with Chef Brandon Franklin, and uh, we're at Mindstream. <laughs> yes, thank you. Welcome to Mindstream, and today we're going to go over pico de gallos and salsas. Those will be the two main components, and we'll also go over some rubs and some different proteins and different things you can do with that. Great. Also, on an affordable budget. Yes, which well. is very, very important. Yeah, especially for people who have kids. <laughs> exactly, like both of us. exactly. Some people say, what's the difference between pico de gallo and salsa? Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, really the biggest difference is salsa's cooked and pico de gallo's raw. Right, you right, know, right. With right. a few ingredients right. that you switch out. And depending on what the application is, too, for mm -hmm. what you're cooking, yeah. that's going to make a di big difference if you're going to use a salsa or a yep. pico de gallo. Absolutely. But there are so many out there now. And um, I think you said when you were shopping for a lot of these things, mm -hmm. there's mango salsas, there's pico de gallo that have all different kinds of things in them, oh, yeah. um, which will make it that step up. All right, well, so where should we start? Well, <laughs> knife work. Knife work, okay. <laughs> oh, and we all know I need to work on my knife work. Well, first, we've got green onions or scallions. They are pretty strong in flavor. Mm -hmm. Normally, you just eat them raw. And they're kind of more of a garnish for other things. Yeah. But actually, once you use what you're going to use, don't throw this away. Keep the roots. Just put it in a little glass of water. Awesome. Stick it in a window steel where it can get some sun, and they will just keep coming right back up at least six or seven times. I they love won't it. do it forever, right. but they will keep coming up. And you can, you know, 68 cents for this bunch of green onions. Awesome. So you're really going to stretch your pants. It's like a science project. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I'll start washing some of those right. as you start going through those. Right. right. Now, actually, when you wash your vegetables, mm -hmm. a nice little bowl of soapy water okay. is going to be fine. Okay. Because really, you know, sometimes with the bell peppers and the tomatoes, they'll put like a waxy coating on it yes. to help well, the Well, you can even see it. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. You can feel it. You so feel if you it. just kind of let it soak in the water for a bit mm -hmm. and then rinse it off and rub it off, mm -hmm. you can get all that stuff off of it. And Great. don't be afraid to put soap on your vegetables. Next up, jalapenos. A lot of people are very familiar with it. They pack a lot of heat. If you take out the seeds... Right. You can lose a little bit. Exactly. But there's still a little bit in the skin and in the flesh and everything. But again, we'll just let these and you guys... And again, you can see that wax on yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. Them. And All actually, right. after you wash them and you rinse them off right. and wipe it off, you'll be able to... It's almost squeaky clean, right, really. Right, right, right. All right. We have green bell peppers. Uh, 68 cents a piece. Versus actually, these might even be 58 cents right. a piece. Versus the reds, yellows, and oranges. Then, we have our avocados. I love avocados. Avocados are great. They're just great raw. They're great. Yeah, I could just eat them raw, mm -hmm. literally. Well, I mean, and they're superfoods pretty much. They're packed mm -hmm. full of protein. I started like, using it instead of mayo on yeah. sandwiches and stuff like that. I've actually used it a couple of times where you can buy like light ranch dressing and, you know, just kind of make yeah. smash up your Absolutely. avocados and add some ranch to it. And it's great on lots of stuff. And now as far as health benefits for an avocado, they're extremely high in fat and calories. However, it's all good. It's the good stuff. It's extremely exactly. good. They're not great if you're trying to lose weight. Okay. But if you're trying to maintain weight and just live a healthy lifestyle, they are right. wonderful. Gotcha. Absolutely wonderful. California, and you just got your plug. Okay. <laughs> now, actually, a little tip that I've learned is the stem part mm -hmm. of the avocado, when you're in the store purchasing, you know, usually you want to feel for yes. slightly soft, right. you know, more brown than green. But if you take off the stem, if that whole spot right there is green, mm -hmm. that means the entire avocado is green. If it's brown, oh. that means the entire avocado is it's going to be too brown. Late. Right. Exactly. So when you're buying that avocados, is great. flip it off. If it's a nice, lovely green, get it. Now tomatoes. Yes. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a stickler for the looks, but I like buying them on the you, vine. You like the vine ripe. Plus yeah. the vine ripe there. Two eighteen a pound. Yeah. So it's in the world of tomatoes, that's not bad. Right. Because a lot of the other ones could be two ninety nine over three bucks a pound. Absolutely. And uh, they pack just as much flavor. They're a little bit smaller. Right. But you know, other than that, there's really not a whole lot of difference. All right. Now the cucumber. These guys, I don't know. Even if the price went up, I don't think it'll ever be over a dollar. Yeah, absolutely. For one. Right. I mean, for this one, sixty eight cents a piece. That you know sounds a little pricey, but it's really not. Right. Cucumbers are going to add to the pico to really give it that fresh, kind of crisp yes. taste to it. Well, and you know, now it's like you go into a hotel, cucumber is becoming a big mm -hmm. um, component of like drinks, fresh water at hotels, yeah, martinis. Right. I mean, cucumber is actually, the, the flavor is fantastic. And there's a lot of um, water mm -hmm. in it, isn't there? Right? Yeah, I mean, I've had uh, chef friends. They Which made is me, filling. 
Yeah, right? it's very filling. Right. They'll make like uh, cucumber sorbets. I mean, yeah. even desserts, everything. Yeah. You're right. It's, Cucumbers it's, really are just it's, getting out there, man. It's kind of becoming like a trendy ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> Next limes. Just uh, everyone's familiar with them. We're just going to kind of be using the juice. Okay. Just to kind of freshen up Absolutely. the pico, give it that nice citrusy flavor. And plus, plus it's, it's summertime. Right, and plus because with the avocado, it will help on it. Um, It'll help kind of stabilize it. it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you can actually keep your pico for about two days, and the avocado won't turn too Perfect. at all. Perfect. Next, we got our onions, red and white. Now, luckily for me, these came out of our... I know, I think that's awesome. Stream, so I think I mean, that's awesome. But if you have to go to the grocery store to get your onions... You'll probably want to stick with the whites or the yellows. Okay. Because or down here, sweet onion yeah, Vidalias, exactly. which I love. <laughs> Vidalias, they were actually 58 cents a pound. Ah. Which, you know, yeah. a pound is probably, depending on the size, two onions or so. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All, All right. right. And now, the tomatoes we're going to use for the pico and the salsa. You know, like I said, most of the ingredients are going to be for all of it. But the only difference is, we'll first we'll slice off the top. Right. And then cut it into four quarters. Oh, those look or great. Look quarters, how red really. they are. Yeah, they're not bad at oh, all. Oh, those look good. And then, for the salsa, just slowly, very slowly, you don't have to be speed racer with it. Right. Cut out the seeds and reserve those. And that's going to be in our salsa. Okay. For the pico, we'll just give it a nice little small dice here. All right. And that's for the pico. Okay, yeah. good. And again, when you're working at home, just don't speed through chopping. Right, you don't right. want to lose a finger. Don't try and chop like the guys on television. Right. And if you want to have bigger chunkers, chunk yeah, your you slices, absolutely do it can. however it's you want. It's all exactly, it's all your preference. All right. Well, I'm going to work on the limes and squeezing them out and Perfect. get the juice out of it. And I'm just kind of rolling it just to break it up inside to make it a little bit easier when that juice comes out. Cool. I'm going to do it old school. I'm going to take the spoon. Nice. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. I mean, the best tools in the kitchen is your hands anyway. Well, you know, when growing up um, in a Filipino house and my mom really didn't cook. I mean, she mm -hmm. cooked, but it wasn't like right. for fun. Right. <laughs> it's more to survive. Yeah. Um, and we didn't have any, like, we didn't have any utensils. It was like mm -hmm. the basics. And um, and I remember when we got this, like, and I don't, I'm a little bit older than you. We got like the beater. Oh, yeah, I know the beater. <laughs> like, I think my mom still might have it at her house. But yeah, that yeah, was I think like... you can only get those at consignment shops. I know, now. right? It's like antique. Maybe that's why my mom's hanging on to it. But yeah, I mean, so to me, using a spoon and juicing something is mm -hmm. completely normal.